Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about an interesting bike from Focus. So you see, recently I got a question about this Focus Isalco Max 8.7 for the 2022 season, and I have to say it's a very interesting offering from Focus Bikes. As you already know, Focus is a German bike brand and they have a huge heritage in making road bikes and mountain bikes. And also you have probably seen Focus bikes on the highest level of professional cycling. This Focus is Alco platform. So who is this bike for? So you see Focus is Alco platform is all about lightweight climbing and stiff machines. Of course, in this iteration of the bike, they have incorporated a bit of aerodynamically optimized carbon fiber frame and the fork, but this is just the general direction where all the bike brands are going. When you look at the retail price of this bike, it is 2,700 British pounds, or if you can get this bike, for example, in Germany, it will be approximately 2,600 euros. So I think this is a very attractive price point, and we can see when we dive into the specifications, what do you really get for your hard-earned money, and then of course at the end I will give you my opinion, should you just go ahead and buy this bike, or should you just uh, consider it. Now let's talk about the paint scheme on this bike. Well, there is only one paint scheme on offer, and this is this, I have to say, it's a beautiful metallic uh, blue paint scheme, kind of a hint of dark blue with a hint of, you know, light blue. Very nice paint scheme from Focus, uh, but again, I wish that Focus could have kind of squeezed another paint scheme into this bike, although I understand that on this price level of 2,700 British pounds, maybe it would be a bit uh, too much uh, to ask for. Now we can dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get for your hard earned money. And as always, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber frame from Focus, uh, which uh, comes with internal cable routing, 12 mm true axles both front and the back, and of course flat mount disc brakes. I will just mention here that this carbon fiber frame is not uh, one of those super light carbon fiber frames, which would usually be the Focus Max carbon fiber. So this carbon fiber frame in the size, I think 54 is probably about 1050 grams. But if you will go to the highest levels of carbon fiber frames, they would drop to about 900 grams, but then it becomes much more expensive. So this carbon fiber frame kind of, a you know, basic mid level of carbon fiber frames from focus. On the other hand, when you look at the fork, the fork is the max technology carbon fiber fork, so the highest level that focus can do. Again, 12 mm true axle at the front and flat mount disc brakes. I will also mention here that um, with the 12 mm true axles with focus, you get their RAT system, their kind of patented system, which is a very neat system where your true axle can be operated similarly like in the old days you would have a quick release. So it's very easy to, you know, remove the wheels from this uh, bike. All in all, this carbon fiber frame and fork, absolutely no complaints here, perfectly fine. Focus knows what they are doing. And also keep in mind that you are getting a six years warranty on uh, carbon fiber frames uh, from uh, Focus. Now let's talk about the group set on this uh, bike. So you see, everything from the shifter, front mech and the rear mech is the Shimano 105 group set. So this is a mechanical 11 speed group set. Excellent group set in my opinion. You know, Shimano 105 is uh, a perfectly functioning workhorse from Shimano. So this is the Shimano's 105R7000 group set. And definitely you won't have any problems with this mechanical 11 speed group set. When you look at the crank set and the chain on this bike, so again, uh, I'm sorry, when you look at the cassette and the chain on this bike, you are getting a Shimano 105 level cassette, 11 speed cassette, and the chain is the Shimano's HG601, which again is the Shimano's um, 105 level set is 1130 cassette and this is paired with the crank set which is a Shimano RS510. So RS510 is just one level below Shimano 105 group set so they kind of saved a bit of money here but make no mistake this crank set is perfectly fine this RS510 and also it is a 5034 chain rings. So you have a very a nice wide range of gears so from 5034 chain rings all the way to 1130 cassette. 
absolutely no problems in attacking any steep mountains. As I mentioned here, uh, you will also get a press fit bottom bracket with this frame, and this is of course the Shimano's BB86 press fit bottom bracket, and again, I wouldn't expect any serious problems or creaking noises with this uh, press fit uh, bottom bracket. Now let's talk about some of the smaller uh, pieces on the bike, like handlebar stem and the seat post. So when you look at the handlebar, you will get the BBB aluminum handlebar. Perfectly fine handlebar, no problems here. And also when you look at the stem, this is the Focus uh, so-called CIS integrated stem, which is an aluminum stem. But keep in mind that uh, uh, both uh, handlebar and the stem are separate pieces on this bike. Nothing is, you know, specially proprietary here. So again, easy to replace or upgrade in the future. And again, since these are uh, aluminum pieces, uh, very easy to adjust your position on the bike. I will also mention here when you look at the seat post, the seat post is a Focus uh, aerodynamically optimized carbon fiber seat post. Just keep in mind that this seat post is a so-called D-shaped seat post. So if for whatever reason you, are, you want to upgrade or replace this seat post, you can buy any D-shaped seat post. Again, nothing proprietary here. When you look at the saddle, you will get a Physique Antares R7 saddle, a perfectly fine saddle in my opinion. Uh, again, uh, it's a bit of a personal preference. If you really don't like this saddle, it's very easy to replace it with your preferred saddle. Now let's talk about the braking system on this bike. So what do you get here? You will get the Shimano's 105 hydraulic disc brakes, front and the back. And I have to mention here that um, it seems to me that they are using a basic Shimano RT70 braking rotors. And also, uh, they didn't mention here the size of the braking rotors. I am expecting it to be 160 millimeters, but just please double check this. If one of the rotors is 140 millimeters, I strongly recommend you to replace it as soon as possible. And also, if you destroy these braking rotors, I would gladly, you know, upgrade to the Shimano Ultegra level braking rotors, just because they come with the Shimano's ice tech, ice freezer technology, so the heat dissipation is going to be so much more better, and, and of course the braking performance. When you look at the wheel set on this bike, okay, definitely one of the weak points on this bike, but that's why, you know, the price is 2,700 British pounds. So this wheel set is a classical aluminum wheel set. So it comes with the Alex Rims uh, Bondux 5 wheel set, 12 mm through axles, <coughs> 26 mm rim height. And I would just mention here that these <coughs> hubs on this wheel set are probably some, you know, let's call it basic uh, sealed cartridge bearing hubs. It's going to be perfectly fine, it's going to serve you well for a few years, but I would definitely advise you once when you destroy this wheel set, save some money and look at DT Swiss wheels, and you can get excellent DT Swiss wheels, aluminum wheels from about 700-800 US dollars. Also this wheel set as it is on the bike is probably very close to 2 kilograms, so also a bit on the heavy side. This wheel set is wrapped in Vittoria Zafiro Pro tires. I mean, excellent tires, no problems here. And this is a 28mm tire, which is also excellent uh, because you will get so much more air volume and a very nice and smooth uh, bike ride. Here, uh, Focus is mentioning that the total bike weight is 8.7 kilograms in size 54, size medium. So probably, you know, majority of the sales are going to go towards size 56. So I would expect it to be closer to like 9 kilograms uh, fully, you know, equipped bike on this level. So definitely, you know, it's not on the, on the light uh, side of the bikes. But again, keep in mind that this wheel set as it is, this Alex Rims uh, Bondux 5, is probably a two kilograms wheel set so it's easy to you know drop the weight of this bike for easily half a kilo if you buy yourself a very good uh, quality carbon fiber or or even aluminium uh, wheel set so in a summary uh, what would i advise you to do considering the retail price of 2700 british pounds or 2600 euros for this uh, focus is alco max 8.7 well, I think you should definitely seriously consider this bike, and especially if uh, you can get some discount with the Focus Bike dealers, which I believe should definitely be possible, 10% discount is nothing special. So let's say you get approximately 300 British pounds discount, 250 to 300 British pounds discount, and then we are speaking about, let's call it 2,400 British pounds bike, then definitely, definitely it's a totally very good value for money, and you should just uh, go for it. So I think uh, this is going to be it for today. 
I hope you like what I'm doing and if you do keep on watching keep on liking and as always I will see you soon in the next episode cheers